We're back. Welcome back, Colin. Where have you been? <laughs> Bird knows. Uh, remi- oh yeah, we were talking about before. It reminds me, saw an a th- an interview with Demi Lovato. Someone asked her what her favorite dish was, and she said a bowl. <laughs> I love that. And she went into like lo- like she she defended it, you know, like she really wanted. To- yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Bird. See, I told you, she gets all chirpy, like, when he, because, okay, I have the bird covered, which I don't like to do, but Colin told me to do it. Don't put this on me. It's Colin's fault. People get annoyed when the bird is too noisy in the recordings. But he just, he chirps at me sadly when it's daytime and I cover the cage. I mean, it's only going to be daytime for, like, a few more hours, it's, so. It's, it's, it is, it's pretty late. But like, he's all sassy, Colin. Well, it's it, I, I, at least he's not saucy. You didn't accidentally cook him, eat him up. That, that would be bad. hard to do. I don't think Lovebird tastes very good. Ah! Ah! You you really should have seen this coming. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, did not. Also, you're covered in jam. Delicious strawberry jam. Yeah. Hey, you have Madman's knowledge, so now Yay. you can level up. Yay! Without having to die. I got strawberry jam at Target the other day. How was it? Good. I also got chocolate milk. Good. Good. They put the strawberry jam and chocolate milk in the same bag. And my sister dropped it. Aww. The jar, the glass jar, did not break. Oh. The milk carton did. Well, that's great, though. And so we put it in a big jar. <laughs> so now we have a jar, a big, like, giant, like with one of those latch seals, uh-huh. jar full of chocolate milk in the fridge. Nice. And that is my story, friends. Great. Oh, hmm. we we made... We, we, we made a bunch of desserts. We made homemade uh, red velvet whoopie pie things. What is a whoopie pie? It's like you make two muffin top style cake things and then you put cream like frosting between them. So you usually that see sounds it, dumb. You, it's like a cake. It's like an Oreo, but it's a cake and giant. And we made Ooh. the red velvet version, so it was red velvet cake and then like cream cheese frosting. It was good. And we had leftover homemade icing from the last time we made a cake, so we made a big batch of cookies to just cover in icing. Shut up, boys! Oh god, they make the worst noise. I can't hear it, like, from his audio, but I know it. You can feel it. Yeah. You can feel the word. So I got two madman's knowledge. Good. Are you gonna use them? Nah. Why not? Who needs it? Hmm. Me, probably. Probably. Oh, yeah, this is like the weird, unique, smashy, smashy dude. Oh, he just died. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize I could one-hit him like that. Yeah. Don't forget, when you level up, put all your points into strength so you can do it even better. <laughs> forget, I think... This game scales differently. Like, uh... I always end up at, like, because in Dark Souls, you end up at, like, level 100-something usually, right? Something like that, yeah. Like, 120, I think, mm-hmm. is what most people end at. That sounds about um, right. Or that's at least, like, what the, uh, why did I sit down? I don't know. Why did you sit down? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't care. Why didn't she take it with her? Idiot. That's why she's dead. Sorry. <laughs> the store is so slow. Whose fault is that? The door maker. Probably, yeah. The city architect's like, I know. Just really frustrated hey, by you. it. Hey, you, man. Hmm. Oh, shit. I killed him. Axe man, that's where it's at. 
Colin doesn't like the axe because he's an idiot. I got stuck. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Fantastic. And Soup's good at this game, yeah. I I know. I, I can I can tell. Look how dead those birds are. Whoa! Good job. Very dead they are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what was I doing? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go get that better armor. You do you, man. Hey, dog. 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 I miss. I didn't miss that time. Uh, ow! So I'm gonna get the new Destiny tonight or tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Because it comes out. Are and you excited? I was like, oh, I could stream that, and then... I I'm not going to be able to stream any of the new stuff, because mm -hmm. I haven't played either of the last two expansions. <laughs> so, but they're doing like a, like you can get the Taken King edition, which comes with the base game and the last two expansions, mm. and the new expansion. Hmm. And then if you trade in your old one at GameStop, you get $20 off, so it's the same price as just the new expansion, which is neat. And I was looking for it all day. Like it's pretty nice. I could I found the case for Destiny, and the game wasn't in it, but Diablo 3 was. So I had to do that whole thing where you go backwards for it. <laughs> you just keep looking at the next case. So Diablo 3 had Need for Speed in it. What what? <laughs> So I found the Need for Speed case, because that was lost too. And when I found that, it was empty. Good job. So then I just looked through all of the cases that I think I had played around the same time as Destiny. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't find it. And so, and then I, I like messaged my parents, who apparently were not communicating with anyone today. <laughs> their phones were off and they weren't answering Facebook. Uh, and they, when they finally got back, they couldn't find it. <laughs> so I just went and got all of my cases and opened them one by one. <laughs> and I eventually found it in the <laughs> Lego Lord of the Rings game case. Nice. Nice. Because of course that was where it was. Yeah, I've, I've had to do a pretty long, like, chain of cases before. <laughs> where it's just, like, obscene amounts. Just, well, like, I remembered it? why... It, Need for Speed was in the Diablo case, because I got those around the same time, and the Diablo case was broken, and I cared less about Need for Speed. Like, the little thing that holds the disc in is broken, mm -hmm. so it kind of shakes around in there. So now I have the crappy inferior version of Diablo. Good. I, isn't that what you wanted? Man, they did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Because cause they came out with, you know, the expansion thing. Like, I don't remember what it was called. The Reaper of Souls. Yeah. Which um, you could only get on consoles with the base game built in for a full price. Huh. So I got the base game of Diablo. And then, like, a month, like, right after that, they announced that the Reaper of Souls was coming out. And the only way to get it on... You couldn't just, like, buy it as DLC... Had to get the whole shebang. Well, that's dumb. So I just didn't. At least with Bayonetta 2, they included Bayonetta 1 without actually adding to the price of the game. Well, it's the same deal. Like, that's what they did. It's a $60 game. But you just couldn't... Like, that's, it's an expansion, not a full new game. Yeah. But you couldn't get the expansion on its own. Bayonetta 2 is a full new game, but you also get the thing on its own. True. I see what you're saying. Also, careful about that wolf man. I always am. I'm actually. I'm not. I'm not. Oh oh oh! Don't fall down. That would be bad. Not really. No, it's annoying. But no, actually. Man, these guys gave me so much trouble. No, that's the worst kind. Yeah, the spear guys. I hate the spear guys. Can I sneak up on him? Well, the spear guys... Can I sneak up on him? Or the giant comb guys? You know what I mean? You need a pitchfork? No, it's comb, I think. 
Because, you know, they have big, thick werewolf hair. You got him. You don't got him. You got him. Uh, oh, yeah, I got him. You got him. Good job. <laughs> All right, we'll tax man. Where are you? Where's where's where at? We'll see if Joe got it next time. I got it.